I first started crypto in 2019 and made every mistake you can imagine, from panic selling lows during massive crashes to getting rugged, to holding losing positions too long and taking profit on winners way too early. Obviously, I managed to figure it all out because I'm here right now. But the fact is, if I'd have known in 2019 what I know now, I would have made 10 times as much money. Lucky for you though, I made all those mistakes so you don't have to. So today I'm sharing seven tips that will give you a massive shortcut in this upcoming bull run. But before we get started, let me remind you that this is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. This video is not intended for residents of the United Kingdom. Don't invest unless you're prepared to lose all the money you invest. Crypto is a high risk investment and largely unregulated. You are unlikely to be protected if something goes wrong. If you're not in the UK, let's get started. The first tip is the most important. As I said in the intro, I started crypto in 2019 and it wasn't easy. That bear market had two big crashes, one in September 2019 and the COVID crash in March 2020. Because I was emotional and inexperienced, I panic sold those crashes and lost almost all my money. Both times, I got wiped out. And that absolutely wrecked me. I gave up on crypto in 2020 and I didn't think I'd return. But after a few weeks, I started asking myself, do you really want to be a quitter? And the answer was no, I'm not a quitter. So I started over in 2021 with around $6,000 and a dream to retire my family. And I'm almost there. Now, tip one isn't really about crypto. It's just to not give up on your dreams. Reality is great at crushing your dreams, but persistence often wins out. So never give up. But also learn from my mistakes, which I'll break down in the next six tips. Starting with tip two, shortcut your research. Nobody has time for crypto research, but that's because most people do research wrong. They focus on finding good cryptos when the focus should be finding red flags to eliminate bad cryptos, which is so much faster. I look for three red flags in a project. If I find major issues with the team, roadmap, or with a super quick tokenomics check, I usually bin the project. Here's how I do it. First, I Google the team to see if they have relevant experience. For example, if I'm looking at investing in an AI project, I want the team to have AI experience. For a gaming project, I want to see previous gaming industry experience. I also check if they have failed projects in the past or even worse, rugs. If they have rugs, I'm out instantly. If they have failed projects in the past, I might give them a chance depending on the reason they failed. You would be surprised how often a simple Google search of the key team members' names brings up this sort of info, and it takes you minutes. Next, I check to see if they have a roadmap with clear goals. If I cannot easily find one, I assume the project lacks transparency or cannot set goals, which is a red flag. The most common places to find roadmaps are on websites, in the docs section, or on the project's white paper. This is also where you would usually find tokenomics. For tokenomics, I have a handy little cheat sheet for you. I look for good distribution, as you can see here. This cheat sheet is linked below. And that's it. You'll be surprised how many projects you can eliminate in just a few minutes this way. And that means you'll buy into far fewer scams, rugs, and mediocre projects. If you want a full video where I discuss my research tips, tricks, and shortcuts in depth, comment below and let me know. Next, you need to narrow focus. Warren Buffett once said, and I am paraphrasing a little, you don't need to be an expert at a million things. You need to decide what are the few things you want to be an expert on and shoot for those. That is powerful advice in crypto. There's so much happening in this space that one person can't keep up with everything it's impossible. Instead of trying to focus on every single narrative, pick one or two and become an expert on those. There are plenty of hot narratives in crypto right now. AI, memes, gaming, real world assets and Deepin are my favourites. Pick one or two of those, focus all your energy on learning them. Okay, let's move on to a slightly more depressing tip. You might not want to hear this one, but it's arguably the most important thing I will say in this video. The bear market is coming. 
And when it does, 99.9% .9 of tokens will dump and most will never recover. That's the nature of crypto. But people in crypto are delusional. When alts are pumping, everyone is making money, they will start saying dumb things like diamond hands and hodl. The moment you start believing that nonsense, you're done. You lost the game. If you're making life-changing money in crypto, this bull run, cash it out and actually change your life. Tip five is to look at market caps and FDVs. This was much less of a problem last bull run, but now it's a big problem. Everyone is after 500x returns like we saw on Solana in 2021. But the thing is, Solana was released with a $10 million market cap. 10 million. The market cap of Solana is now 76 billion. But these days, layer ones and twos are being released with market caps often as high as 500 million, which is already 50 times higher than that of Solana's. This bull run is fundamentally different to the last one. In 2021, most cryptos started here. In 2024, most cryptos are starting here. So there's much less room for growth and therefore you need to set realistic expectations. Stop looking for 500x returns on hyped high cap coins. It cannot happen. If you want a video where I break down market caps and FDVs in full so you can better predict a crypto's potential, let me know in the comments. Tip six is a two-parter. First of all, don't trust anything in crypto. Second, nothing is too big to fail. In May 2022, Luna and UST collapsed. Together, they were among the top 10 cryptos worth over $50 billion. There were warning signs. I warned people to get out. But I got a bunch of hate from people who trusted Luna and UST with their life savings. You don't want to be one of those guys. You should never trust any crypto project with a large percentage of your capital. Any project can fail. Actually, even exchanges can fail. Look at FTX. It died a few months after Luna, taking billions with it. And so many smart people lost their fortunes to these collapses. I don't trust any project, exchange or service with more than 10% of my capital. Crypto and trust do not go hand in hand. Don't trust any project or service in this industry. Nothing is too big to fail. The final tip is to make use of free tools. There are some amazing free tools out there that I wish I'd known about sooner. And there are a few that are staring you right in the face, but you might not know about them. For example, CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko both have an awesome watchlist feature where you can create a watchlist for alts that you hold or are interested in. You can create multiple watchlists for different kinds of alts, such as gaming, real world assets, memes, or whatever you want. Other free tools exist like Bubble Maps, which allows you to enter a crypto token address and look for suspicious wallet connections that indicate that the project might be dodgy. Or you can use crypto fundraising, which shows you exactly where big VCs are investing money early so you can spot emerging narratives. I did a tools video recently covering both of these and more. So if you want to know more about these tools and how I use them, check it out. It's on screen now. Other than that, guys, remember, Trade smart, don't be a dumbass, and I'll see you soon.